solve the following for x in terms of m. Now this is a question which uh, where students struggle to do it correctly, though it is simple. Uh, but if you need to go through the right process, there's one step which I'll tell which most students do wrong. The first step is of course squaring. Uh, this is where most students can do it right. But the next step is something many students do it wrong. So this is one step. Most of the students know this step. So I'm going to square this side, so to square this side. Okay, now on the right hand side, okay, so let's talk about the left hand side. So you have the radical or the square root, the whole square root. And you got a square outside. So square and square root cancel each other out. So this is x minus m. Okay, now in the next step, the mistake that students do is they write is x minus 25. If you have if you write like this, this is absolutely wrong. Okay. So yeah, not to do this mistake, I would do the next step like this. This is square root of x minus 5 times square root of x minus 5. Okay, so this is x minus m. So that now I'm expanding this out. So this is x times square root of x times square root of x is x. Now x square root of x times minus 5 is minus 5 times square root of x minus 5 times square root of x is minus 5 times square root of x and minus 5 times minus 5 is plus 25. This is where a major mistake happens, okay? If you write x squared minus 25 or x squared plus 25, it is wrong. So this is x minus m is equal to x minus 10 times square root of x plus 25. So what can we cancel from both sides? You've got x on left hand side and x on right hand side. So taking away x from both sides, so x gets cancelled. So let's isolate the x on one side. So this I'm going to bring to this side and this I'm going to bring on this side. Or you're adding 10 root x to both sides and adding m to both sides. So this will become 10 root x is equal to m plus 25. Now I'm going to divide both sides by 10. So this is root x is equal to m plus 25 divided by 10. Now I want to find x, so what should I do? I should square this side, so it also square this side. So this is x is equal to so this becomes m plus 25, the whole squared, m plus 25, the whole squared over 100. And this is your final answer. This is how you can solve radicals. Okay.